What's up guys, it's Real Swim Cheesy, we're now only two weeks out, and today I wanted to talk about one of the more interesting villains that you might not have heard of, and that's actually Crow. And Crow is like kind of a behind the scenes villain from XX, like he was directly involved in like a lot of things, but he was never playable, right? So, unless you did the story modes back in the day, you probably don't, or the arcade mode and such, right? But, you probably don't know who he is, but yeah, I just really wanted to talk about him because... I, I, reading into his lore and looking to the GG glossary, um, like I, it almost just kind of hit me like, damn, like if there's any villain that's probably coming back, it might be him. And the first thing, obviously, with his GG glossary is it says that he work. It, it's not clear if he works still for or like worked like old um, with the post administrative bureau, right? The thing that post war administrative bureau, the thing that Milio runs right now, right? So. He could still be working for the Illyrian government. It doesn't say that he's been fired. It says he was ordered by them to do things. So he still could realistically have connections there. Um, as well as, since again, Melia's in charge of that. We're going behind the scenes. It makes sense whether he's good or bad. And it would actually make sense if he's good this time. Because it's stated that he's looking for Robokai, who's like one of the only people he's really ever kind of considered like a friend to him. And, you know, when we saw at the end, right, he wasn't very friendly, right? <laughs> he was still evil, but... It sounds like if he's coming back, he's, I mean, he's still looking at people, so he might be a bad scientist, right? But, you know, again, he values Robokai, and maybe Robokai, if he sees him again, can kind of help him bring him back to the good side. Or, I guess, n not back, he, <laughs> he kind of started out evil, but bring him to the good side, so that'd be cute to see. Um, but also, just again, his connection to, you know, A, he's probably Japanese. Apparently, him and Johnny shared the same master, right? So he's you know could be connected to Johnny if we learn more about Johnny might learn more about Crow um he's done you know research into Abba and homunculus is right so that new homunculus character hey could be tied to him um we haven't seen him fight but again he was able to like dodge attacks from like there's like bike and Johnny so it's implied he was able to escape like an interdimensional prison which we don't really know much about but that could be referring to anything, and I think it also leans towards, again, like I've mentioned with the other characters, like Faust and Testament, very powerful, knowledgeable magic users. It could be leaning into, you know, us trying to learn the roots of magic, and again, he's a mad scientist, he's very knowledgeable on the subject, right? So, it makes a lot of sense that he could be the one to, you know, help figuring out, crack that code. And maybe he's done research in demi-humans as well, that wouldn't be surprising the least, right? And again, back to like the Robo experiments, he made Robokai. He made Robo Potemkin at one point, <laughs> so I don't think we'll have Robo May as like a playable character, but to be honest, it is, it is it would be kind of funny, and I, I could definitely see him doing that right, where like they bring in Robo May into the story to like meet May or something silly. And So and that is one of the more, May was, we don't know exactly why he's interested in May, because again, he is Japanese. We. I th you know, I was kind of talking about how May, I think, like, doesn't have, like, the most interesting story stuff, but I really hope they kind of can expand on, again, why she's so powerful, why someone like Crow is so interested in her compared to, like, everybody else, right? So, maybe he can also finally like, give us answers exactly what's going on with May in particular, because everything that's kind of been going on with her has just more than, like, broad Japanese issues, right? So, again, <laughs> you know, we'll have to see in that front, but, so, I mean, he could help May. Uh, again, being Mad Sinus, you know, could be on connections to Faust, maybe you can help him out, uh, Ramothal. Honestly, I was also thinking that he might have played a part in helping Universal Will realistically make and create Valentines. Again, if he has knowledge on making robots and making possibly homunculus, and that interdimensional prison could have been somewhere in the backyard, right? Maybe he did get in contact with Universal Will. So, I definitely think that, that might be a bit far out there, but it wouldn't surprise me in the least. It wouldn't surprise me if Happy Chaos knew about him or if he knew about Happy Chaos and yeah. I'd really like to see him come back again, just see what he's been up to. And he just since we're going back to all these like XX characters and everything, it would just make a lot of sense. And the other person that he's interested in, why I think he could be connected to Happy Chaos was Zappa. I just remembered that right. But Zappa again spirits and he wants to learn more about spirits, right? And Happy Chaos is a spirit, <laughs> and I guess if you want to see Zappa return, you know, there you go, but yeah, and again, he had training from Johnny's Master, so I'd like to... He could be playable, essentially, right? And that would definitely be something interesting to see. So, overall, uh, he, the only thing, I guess, that is a little questionable is they gave his same voice actor to Raven. So, I mean, that, that probably doesn't mean much, right? But, 
I don't know, they might, that might, maybe there was never planned for him to return. I, I really hope that's not the case. Maybe Raven won't show up, and it will be fine. That'd also be a funny revelation if they were like, maybe, bro, that'd be, oh, bro, what if, what if Raven has like, oh, an Eno or Axel situation where there's two versions of him, and he's actually like, Raven's like a backyard apparition or some shit, but he was born a human, oh. Alright, that, that's like a whole nother tunnel that we have to discover, but I, I, I don't think it goes that deep, but that, that's definitely something interesting and funny to think about, right? But yeah, again, the reason I think he has a better chance than a lot of people is his lore, again, is very much changed from, like, you know, his original ending from, you know, just being evil and helping out people to, hey, now I want to, you know, now it says, like, you know, he wants to help out, you know, he doesn't want to help out, I guess, he wants to see Robokai and, like, see him again, because that was really his only friend in life, so... Maybe he is trying to make peace and be happy again and again. His connection to the post administrative bureau, it being unclear if he does or doesn't work for them. And you might be like, oh, well, he's evil. Again, Leo hired Millie and Zano knowing full well like the shit that they've done. But he's like, listen, they want to do this and they are the best of the best at it. And it could be the exact same thing for Crow, right? Whether it be Leo or Millie or Zano, right? They could literally just be like, listen, we know Crow's done fucked up shit in the past, but given that he is one of the smartest and most knowledgeable people, if he wants to do good, if he wants to help us, and we know that we can keep him under control, why the fuck not, right? So, <laughs> and also, fuck, okay, there's just so much shit to talk about and so many theories, right? But the reason that I think he might also be connected to Universal Will are those Phalanx 9, because we saw him very acting very robotic, like, right? and again, she's like, oh, I did something funny to them, but maybe that was also with Crow, because again, you know, he knows things about humans and homunculuses and, you know, robots, so. Anyways, um, like I said, we'll see. Uh, again, we've never actually... Well, we've seen like pictures of him, but we've never seen him as playable. We never saw him in Zerd. But again, I really like this idea that we're going back to of revisiting years and revisiting like really old characters. Like Testament, right? Like I'm sure Crow is very... Like he's trying to make, you know, Justice clones. So I'm sure he's very interested. And again, people like Dizzy, people like, of course, you know, Testament. So yeah, I'd really like to see him return. A really interesting villain that didn't really get much spotlight and you know since we're bringing back all these old characters hey why not bring back right but yeah like i said 14 days out hopefully we get a trailer or something this week we'll have to see but yeah as always i really appreciate you guys keeping up with these love you all a lot and hey take care